Okay guys, this is part two, exercising with a mask. I'm in the gym right now, as you can see, <laughs> and we're supposed to wear these masks, okay? And I, of course, I'm not even wearing a, a face mask as far as for my mouth. This is, goes over your eyes, but at least I can partially breathe. So you can see people, like the guy behind me right here, he's on that bike, and I saw the people on the bike, and they got this mask on, and they're lowering taking this thing down. They're lowering their blood oxygen, okay? Yes, they are. <clears throat> and they're increasing their CO2, okay? I mean, I do, anybody who's working out in the gym here, if you're working out hard, you are not, look, Mark's outside trying to catch some air over here because we're all bloody dizzy. He's outside catching some fresh air, okay? So <clears throat> here's this lady behind me right here too. Look, she's got her mask on, okay, way back there. So you can see, pretty working out. They got the doors closed in the front over there, so then they have one door open because they said it's the rules. Who's making these rules up, man? You're gonna be able to work out in the gym. Anybody working, is working out hard, I'm just telling you, you cannot work out with a mask on. You can't breathe. How can I go ahead, I'm trying to breathe, okay, in and out, and I'm, <laughs> I'm suffocating myself. I just wanna know who's gonna pay for these lawsuits for people basically dropping dead doing these cardiovascular exercises, working out super hard, and falling to the ground, knocking their teeth out on a piece of equipment. Because my first couple of sets, I wanted to try it with the mask on. And this mask, I can breathe pretty good. Okay, I just keep it down here, because it's made for your eyes. But I see these people wearing N, the N95 masks in here, okay? And what happens is, I felt like all of a sudden, I just took a big old puff of nicotine. Man, I had to hold onto the wall. I was just about to faint, because I'm trying hard. You don't come to the gym just to go ahead and you know, lally gag around. So if you're in the gym here and you're using your mask, it's because you're not working out. You're just playing around. But anybody who's using the gym correctly and working out intensely, okay? So I'm watching the guys. And every guy that I see that's working out intensely, he's got their mask down to here. You can't breathe, okay? It's not breaking the rules, not breaking the law. It's basically, it's called common sense. So anyways, I just wanted to show you, this is the oxymoron, <laughs> oxy, right, oxygen. And it's moron, because why? Who came up with these ideas that you could go ahead and exercise with a mask on? You need more air than you could possibly get. Like I said, I used to bring in an oxygen tank in my gym and suck on oxygen for about 20 breaths, pure oxygen before I, you know, did my set. So here's Mark, huffing and puffing is because he's, he's following the rules as a good boy, okay? Okay, what, what do you feel like? You feel dizzy when you work out, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Talk loud, though. Dizzy, really dizzy. Okay. I have to, I have to kneel down between sets sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Where I fall take, down. Yeah, here we go. Guys, take a knee, okay, from being so dizzy in the gym. Just so you know, you have to, you have to go down and, right, take a knee. Why? Because you're going to faint. So, anyways, again, okay, look. Watch the guy behind me. He's huffing and freaking puffing really hard. Where is he? Right there. And he's got his mask on. Okay, watching the television, right? <laughs> and the worst thing is, is I hate these blue lights in here. They got all these things changed to LEDs trying to save money, but boning, burning out your photo sensors. Okay, they just do. Look up what blue light does. Okay, that's enough. But then again, I have no idea who made up this crazy rule, okay, of exercising, okay, intensely. Sure thing, that's why I come to the gym, not just to come in here and sit on a bench and read a newspaper, right? I come in here to friggin' sweat. So anyways, that's enough. But I just wanted to say, I wonder who is going to pay for the lawsuits of people having heart attacks, people falling down and knocking their teeth out on the ground, right? It's not even so much when you, when you faint. It's what happens to you when you're, if you don't take a knee real quick, if you're going to faint, you just plop and your head hits the freaking ground. I used to work in the hospital and that's how a lot of elderly people, it's because they thought they could, they could, you know, get out of the dizzy spell. And no, you go to your knee. And then if you have to fall, at least it's just a short fall. Okay, that's it. We're going to finish our workout, and here we go. <laughs> the gym. It's a nice gym here. I really like it. They repainted everything. That's one good thing since we've been closed, or they've been closed here. been three months or so. They repainted the place. It looks pretty new. Okay, we'll see you guys, and if you're going to exercise, my recommendation is, of course, that's crazy. And if you are going to have to wear a mask going anywhere, just get one of these Remember, these go over your eyes like this at night. You can buy like 20 of them, like I said, for like, like a dollar a piece on Amazon. I'll put the link in. And then just drop it to here. And you can at least breathe through here. Okay, yeah, I'm breathing my, 
I can feel my, my warm breath, but when I take a breath, I got cold air coming in versus if I had a big N95 mask and whatever. Remember, and all you're doing, remember, you are not protecting yourself at all. Just remember that. Impossible. You're supposedly protecting someone else if you are totally infected by coughing and sneezing and whatever it is. Anyways, you shouldn't be going to the gym. You shouldn't be going to the store if you're sick anyways. Okay, stay at home and go get your, your friend to go get your... your your kibble. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're going to work out now. Aloha. Again, don't wear a mask as you're exercising intensely. And if you're outside exercising by yourself, why would you? That's just crazy. Remember, lowering your blood oxygen and increasing your carbon dioxide is completely backwards to who we are. Completely backwards. It's a booby trap to get you sick. Okay, lowering your blood oxygen okay, is not good. You're just on your way to getting acidosis. Remember, you're stressing yourself out and you're suffocating yourself out. I don't think that sounds too, too smart. So use your critical thinking. And if you don't use your critical thinking, then, then that's, well, because you don't have any. Okay, that's it. Aloha, and we'll see you on the next video. Exercising with a mask, part three. Okay, now I'm out of the gym. Now I can talk maybe a little easier, but what a, what a weird oxymoron experience. I'm working out hard and I'm watching all those that work out intense. Remember, you go to the gym just to work out. You don't go to there just to sit on the benches. And anybody that was intensifying their workouts, they all had to drop their mask down to here, okay? Or down to here. You're just going to faint. So the first, like, maybe four sets, I kept the stupid thing on the whole time just to follow the rules, to comply. I want to see how it feels also to be able to restrict, suffocate my oxygen and, of course, increase my carbon dioxide while I'm really, really pushing hard. Remember, I, I go to the gym, remember, to work out. I don't just go there just to do some stuff. Remember, I'm working out. So, <clears throat> anyways, I haven't been in several months and, and I'm just, you know, seeing everybody's reaction. And I did do a couple of private interviews with people there. Okay, private ones. Okay, guy was on the the treadmill, and and he got off, and I and I said, hey, how was that thing with the mask? Is that thing hard to to, to breathe? And he says, are you kidding? He says I had to get off. He says I can only handle like 12 minutes. He says I was gonna bloody faint. He says I got so lightheaded. I've never been like that. He says it felt like all of a sudden, you know, like I was had gonna gonna you know have to to tr you know fall off of the the treadmill. I said, how long do you usually do it? He says 45 minutes. And I said, do you think that really, you know, is dangerous? And he says, dangerous? He says, I'm 63 years old. And, and I felt like I was going to faint. And, and I almost, you know, couldn't press the stop button, he says, because I got that fainty. And he overheated, he said. Okay, and so this is what I found out that I happened to me too. I overheated. Okay, even if you put this, this mask like this and you're breathing through here. Okay, Mark was doing this, you know, my training partner. And he's got it down here and he's, and he's you know, got his, his nose open, so he's breathing. But you're, you're overheating your throat and your, and your thyroid and this whole area down here. Okay, just from the, for, from the mask. You're, you're blowing out. Remember, your nostrils go down, so it blows the air into your mask and heats it up and heats it up. So <clears throat> you got a couple things going on there. Okay, I have no idea who made these rules up. Okay? And if you're worried about, you know, some type of germs and stuff like that, then guys, why don't you have everybody put on surgical shoe, shoe uh, you know, socks, okay, on top of their dirty freaking shoes, stepping on the piss outside, okay, the bubble gum and the spit on the floor and the, and the poop on the ground, whatever it is, your feet, the bottom of your soles have all different things from parasite eggs on them to whatever, petrochemicals, whatever you're, you're, you're walking around with. So I just wanted to say, if, if, you know, as far as I think it's ridiculous to be able to, to wear, and again, I saw people outside by themselves exercising on bikes wearing a mask. I'm watching people walk around right now, okay, around with their masks on, and there's nobody around, okay? Look, there's no one here. I just saw a guy over there. He's walking, he just walked by with his mask on. Okay, you got the homeless people. They don't, they don't have a mask, right? So they're not worried about it. <laughs> and even if they did, they don't buy into it anyways. They're not watching television, right? If you watch television, then you're scared of this thing. Because if you don't, you don't even know it's really here, except for basically you got better places for you to sleep at night is because the stores are shut, right? <laughs> so the homeless people, they made out. They got better places to go ahead and hunker down it's because, uh, because the stores aren't going to kick them out early in the morning, right? when uh, when they open the store 
So when I come down here in the evening, this place, look at this guy, he's wearing his bloody mask and he's got one of those big masks on his face. He's wearing one of those stupid masks in his car. He's got one of the ones with the big, big filters on the side. So, you know, <laughs> all I can do is I feel bad for these guys, okay? Is because you know who's doing this. Remember, it is the media that's pushing all this stuff, okay? It's pushing it all. Okay? Put fear, doubt, and uncertainty into people, and, and they don't know what's going on, and what they do is they comply with, of course, the things that they feel that they should to protect themselves. Okay? So, check this guy out, look. Check out the size of that. Look at it. Big yellow respirator with the orange. <laughs> okay, anyways, he's looking, he's looking dapper, right? Can I put my window down a little bit here? Didn't want him to hear me. So, anyways, exercising with a mask, my experiment was a total failure. Total failure. Why? It's because how do you think you're going to, just critical thinking, guys. Do you really think you can exercise with one of these? And this is just a, like I said, a blindfold. This is just a, a cheap, okay, this is what you can do to breathe better, okay? Comply and follow the rules, guys, so you don't get in trouble. But this is a mask. It's made for your eyes, and you put it on here. At least you can breathe pretty decent. <clears throat> because when I was using my Jesse James mask, wherever it is, <laughs> look, my Jesse James mask, right? I put it on, and that thing is terrible because it's just suffocating my neck. And, and then I tried one of those N95 masks on. Whoa, I don't know how you do it, people, because you're way tougher than me. Okay, 95 degree weather, okay, and you're wearing that stupid thing, all you're doing is you're overheating yourself. So let's say now you're wearing this mask and somebody wants to check your temperature. What do you think my temperature is going to be when I go ahead and have all this extra hot spot right here? Okay, I'm breathing out, remember, 99 degrees, 98 degree air. Okay, it's like a jacuzzi. And then and it's not going out, it's going around my face and it's heating. The heat's going back in my body and it increases my heat. Here, we're going to check my heat, okay, from my forehead with a, a little temperature gauge, right? Guys, don't be fooled. Again, critical thinking is the only thing that you may still have left in your mind. So now I got to go in the health food store and I'm watching this little girl in there, three years old right now, okay, and she's got an N95 mask on. Really, really good one, right? And N95, remember, surgical masks, these N95s, they have to be fitted. Anyways, it's to basically, remember, as we all know, and this guy, same thing. This guy's walking outside with his mask on and nobody's around him. Okay, you can see him right there. He's walking with his mask on his face. Nobody's there. What are you doing? I'm not making fun of you. This is, this is misinformation, okay? That's all it is. Because if you had critical thinking, no matter what anybody told you, okay, you could sort of weigh and measure what you feel is the truth. Remember, science is a, a real thing. Okay, it's supposed to be to be able to find truth and and you're always finding truth. But scientism, remember, is is a religion and who controls now this place right now? It's the politicians, right? The one that do politics and the scientists. Those are the ones that that are giving you the information that the politics, the politicians, the politics, right? Poly and tick, right? Bloodsuckers. <laughs> they put down the rule to their sheep, to their people, to their minions, to their mundanes, to their pawns as the chessboard. Okay, anyways, again, here's two more people walking with their, I mean, heavy duty masks on. <laughs> again, I feel bad for you. Are you trying to protect each other from each other? You look like brother and sister, okay? Oh, they're holding hands. They're protecting themselves from themselves and they probably swap spit. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're protecting themselves from themselves is because they're holding hands. Brother and sister? No, they're boyfriend, girlfriend. Why are you wearing masks while you're by yourself? Again, doesn't make any sense. Okay, that's enough. So I just wanted to give you my, like I said, my experience. <clears throat> and I, again, am wondering who is going to be responsible for the people that get injured working out and following the recommendations. I mean, like I said, I'm in the gym and I'm asking people, what do you think of the mask working out? He says, I can't work out with this thing on. He says, there's no way. He says, I feel like I'm going to faint. My, my partner, Mark, <clears throat> working pro, uh, workout partner, he says, He's, I got to go outside and go sit down for a little bit. I said, I feel like I'm going to faint. My first few you know, sets that I did, and I'm, you know, I'm pushing hard, right? 
all of a sudden I go, whoa, this is like taking a big puff of tobacco, right? Whoa. <laughs> and I had to hold on to the machine. I said, man, I felt like I was going to drop to my knees. Dumb. Again, I'm just wondering who's going to be responsible for the people that faint and knock their teeth on the ground, right? Because I used to work at the hospital and, and that's what happens. Oh, they fainted. Well, what would happen to their face? Well, they hit their face on the way down. So if you feel like you're going to faint, guys, kneel, right? You, always, you, you know how that's going around the world right now. Kneel. <laughs> Bend the knee, right? Before you smash your face on the ground. Okay, that's enough. But again, if you're going to use the exercise mask, okay, I mean, again, be careful. Is because you're just going to lower your oxygen, and it's hard enough for me <sighs> to be able to breathe, okay, and get the, the maximum amount of oxygen in me. If I'm going to use my muscles, then I need more oxygen, not less oxygen. And if I'm going to use my muscles, I don't want carbon dioxide buildup. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to breathe. Look at this poor old guy right here. He's like 70 years old, and he's just barely walking right now. And you can tell he's got the fear of God, okay? Fear of God in him. Why? It's because he's old, and he's worried about everybody's going to give him. Look, he's putting on the hand sanitizer. Again, I don't do the hand sanitizers. I have my own, okay? And if I have to, I'll bring it into a place. I just tell somebody, I already put it on. I'm not going to use that toxic hand sanitizer, okay? I make my own. <clears throat> So I'm just doing a video on a natural hand sanitizer, okay? And it's not even because you need it. It's just because you can keep it in your car, okay? If you're going to eat lunch, whatever it is, so, you know, you can't wash your hands, that's when you use it. But if you have to go into one of these stores, then you don't use theirs. You just say, I got my own. You shake it up, put a couple squirts on, and say, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive. My skin's sensitive to the chemicals that are in the hand sanitizer. Whatever BS you want to give them, okay? So anyways, we will see you guys. Aloha, and watch yourself with that bloody mask, okay? Bye.